top 10 characters for the month of March 2024. And before we get into this list, I want to give a big shout out to everyone that came out last month and liked the video. Thank you. It was one of my most liked videos for the entire month. Now, we're going to get into the list for March, and the list is in no particular order. And in fact, I had to take some characters off the list but I'm going to give them a shout out at the end of the video as an honorable mention. Now, the recurring theme for this particular list for this month is going to be characters that have the ability to put out trauma and stun. Apocalypse, probably the second best character in the game. Love this guy. Very important. Uh, he was the year-long reward. He's mythic. We refer to him as the Dark Dimension 5.5 character, because we went from Dark Dimension 5, then we did Apocalypse, and then Dark Dimension 6. So Apocalypse was our Dark Dimension 5. He was a year-long saga. And the reason why I want to talk about Trauma Plus Stun is that Apocalypse has the ability to do that. And uh, if he has a striker, and he has the charge that he comes on with spawn, and then he does his first turn ultimate, which hits all targets, applying trauma. And if you're hitting into a target that has vulnerable, the ISO attack will trigger stunning the character. And trauma plus stun is very important. Next, of course, what Apocalypse is known for is his empowered basic, which more or less, most of the time, deletes a character and apocalypse like i said is probably the second best character in the game easily makes the list and he is going to be one of the characters that i'm focusing uh getting diamonds on i'd like to get him to three diamonds uh when the cosmic crucible season rewards pay out that's where we get the currency to put what is it called dark diamond promotion credits whatever they're called and I'm definitely focusing on Apocalypse. Next, we're going to talk about Spider Weaver. And Spider Weaver has that important stun and trauma combo. Four characters on this list have that. And I just think that is an insanely good mechanic. What Weaver is mostly known for is the charge mechanic, which causes the enemies to miss by reducing their accuracy by 100%. This is a very impactful uh, ability, specifically early on in the match when you're playing against the computer, the AI, and they just waste their ultimates. Having minus 100 accuracy is similar to that of a blind, and in normal circumstances, three charges, and in Crucible, five charges. Easily makes the list, and I feel like Spider Weaver is going to be a good character for a long time. Next is Kang. Kang's passive is what makes him very important, in my opinion, on spawn. On offense, fill speed bar by 5% for self and all allies. This is amazing. I even use it sometimes in Arena. Um, being able to go first in a turn-based game is very important, specifically... You know, if their two characters have the same speed, then it becomes a coin flip. But having Kang on your side on offense allows you to get the advantage where you can go first. This has been an important mechanic in the game, even when the character doesn't do anything themselves. Cable still get used today for that reason. And to a lesser extent, Emma also gets used today because of being able to go first is a big deal. So even when King doesn't wreck nerds and blow up the whole board or just delete people, which he does, he does so much damage and he's so good. Even when he's power crept, he's still gonna be useful. And that's why I had, had to put King on this list because I think King is gonna be an important character for a long time solely because of his passive. Next on the list is Dormammu. And what Dormammu is known for is revives. That is not as good as it once was. There's a lot of characters that can negate the revive mechanic on Dormammu. But the thing I like about Dormammu is he has stun plus trauma. This is the third time we've talked about that. It's a big deal. 
stun plus trauma is an amazing plus also when he does that he gets charged and that's actually very impactful uh when charged uh the opponents flip all positive effects to negative effects and apply to bleed which synergizes amazingly well with the undying team so yes Dormammu has seen better days. He's probably on the lower end of the top 10 characters, but Dormammu is still an impactful plug and play character, even though he's been out for years now. Let's go to Super Scroll. Super Scroll is the best character in the game right now. Uh, that is going to change, of course, when the next uh, mythic character comes out with Dark Dimension 7. But the reason why Super Scroll is so good is that he's insanely fast and he has ways of getting extra speed bar, which makes him take a lot of turns. Now, the game is starting to have counters to Super Scroll because Super Scroll was easily the best character in the game and it was this situation of have and have not. You either had him or you didn't. But now they are coming out with solutions. Uh, for example, Black Knight very useful against super scroll in crucible uh iron patriot and the cabal team is a solution to when you see uh super scroll on defense and then of course uh mephisto the dark dimension seven reward is a counter hard counter to many many characters specifically most of the mythic characters that being said super scroll is best character in the game and ideally you want to set him up on a team with two heroes and two villains to get the most out of his kit going often and doing a lot of damage is very important and super scroll is the best next we have to talk about black cat and the re there's two reasons why black cat on this list but before i talk about why black cat's on the list i also want to point out that i i highly recommend the trio Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider, and Ms. Marvel Hard Light are also over the top amazing. But Black Cat, Stun Plus Trauma is, is just a big deal. And then also, I think she's going to be useful for a long time because of her passive uh, negates the revive mechanic that you see on Dormammu. Basically, on spawn, uh, she gets rid of the revive once clear revive once from all enemies gain extra focus for this action If any enemy had revive once gain revive once so this is gonna make her useful for a long time and a plug-and-play character plus stun push trauma She does a lot of other stuff secret defenders are insanely useful in three of the important game modes arena crucible and also Alliance War. Can't recommend the trio. They're very, very good. Next on the list is Green Goblin Classic. And again, like Black Cat, uh, I'm talking about most of the Sinister Six team, whether that is Doc Ock or Vulture or Lizard or Mysteria or Craven or Slayer. There's so many combos of this team but green goblin in himself is kind of the leader of the team and also has a lot of opportunities for plug and play the main thing that i like about green goblin is that his charge mechanic is like a soft counter attack which is kind of a big deal right now like if you're not going first and you can counter attack back it's kind of a big d big big deal now this is also going to be a mechanic that is going to be important going forward while this character has charged lower damage by 15% for all enemies lower resistance by 200% all enemies ability block and vulnerable cannot be applied to self or any sinister sick allies so um, Iron Patriot is a new character coming out and in Crucible Iron Patriot applies vulnerable to all the enemies on spot oh it's not gonna work against Green Goblin and Sinister Six. It's kind of a big deal. And then this is the counterattack mechanic. The end of any turn, if this character has charge, attack the enemy and Jason targets for damage. Apply defense down, flip speed up, flip two additional positive effects and negative effects for those targets. Lose one charge. But keep in mind, when I'm talking about Green Goblin, I'm talking about majority of the Sinister Six team and the various combos 
um, it's going to be a different team composition that you use in war, a different composition that you use in Crucible. Love what Scopely and Marvel Strike Force did with the Superior Six. I just think it was a huge step in the right direction for the game. Next is Nightcrawler. And again, when I'm talking about Nightcrawler, I'm talking about X-Man. I mean, we could be talking about Gambit here. We could be talking about Rogue right here as well. But I wanted to just point out that Nightcrawler is extremely important character for the X-Men, giving turn meter and speeding up the team, you know, doing a lot of damage, having a lot of evades, being very hard to kill, and also has the mechanic of applying exposed. Not only can he stun the initial target and do a lot of damage, rebound chain, but exposed synergizes well uh, with other exposed characters, uh, Vol, Super Scroll, and so on. And Mephisto, right? Mephisto's gonna have um, ex uh, exposed. So I uh, have to talk about Nightcrawler, but I don't wanna say, I could have put Gambit here, but I chose to use Nightcrawler. I've been using Nightcrawler actually in certain team compositions uh in arena even on defense so nightcrawler easily makes the list now void knight void knight is going to be a good character for a long time right now his importance as far as plug and play is mostly about countering black knight he has a way of gaining a lot of turn meter on spawn and then he's able to clump then them all up together insane amount of focus flipping everything from positive into negative effects and applying ability block on the primary target void knight is going to be an important character for a long time plug and play getting a lot of use in arena gets a lot of use in cosmic crucible and in war uh and he's kind of the backbone right now of the hive mind team don't sleep on this guy void knight is very good next is black knight now black knight is uh let's say the third best character in the game I, I really think that the three like specifically let's say in crucible the three important characters are going to be super scroll apocalypse and black knight uh the arena is dominated by those three characters as well now you do have to upgrade him a lot for him to be useful because some of his attacks are based off of max health and the main mechanic that makes him important is going to be the charge mechanic, which is like a counterattack. It's not a counterattack, though. It's actually his passive attack. And this passive attack ruins Super Scroll. This is a very important character. But I've seen some people say, well, I don't really get it. He doesn't do that much. Well, his damage, for example, on his passive counterattack, whatever you want, his passive ping, if you will, is based off of max health. His ultimate ability is based off of max health and also it's worth noting that this character gets more max health on defense so if you read right here gain 50 percent max health on defense gain an additional max health so he's more important on defense he's one of the better characters in the game by far right now i'm going to say that he's the third best character in the game and he has a high amount of resistance uh, this character has defense up this character gains a thousand percent extra resistance uh he has some very interesting mechanics of a uh, bouncing taunts back and forth he's a pre-taunting tank oh my god pre-taunting tanks in hero collectors galaxy of heroes marvel strike force are useful for a long time we still use drax sometimes we still use red guardian sometimes we still use uh absorbing man while well, we use him in a lot of different places but not only is uh, Black Knight a pre-taunting tank, he does stuff and he wrecks nerds. It's gonna be very good for a very long time. Easily makes the list. Now this character is not in the game. And those were, that was the top 10 for this month. Uh, he's gonna change everything. Uh, easily gonna be the best character in the game. He's hard counters to a lot of the characters that we mentioned on this list. He is going to be meta defining and it's going to be have and have nots going to be the requirements for uh, it's going to be the rewards for Dark Dimension 7 and that comes out on the 20th. Now, 
I just wanted to give some shout outs and some honorable mentions. Um, I, I thought a lot of these could have made the list. Just had, uh, you know, I had a hard time making this list and I kind of stuck to the stun plus trauma theme. Kestrel could have made the list for sure. Big time Spider-Man could have made the list for sure. Vol probably could have been on the list. Maybe not for sure. Icarus when paired up with Cersei, still very important. Morgan Le Fay, Red Hulk, Rogue could have been on the list. Nova could have been on the list. Quicksilver could have been on the list. Who do you think I forgot? Tons of good characters right now, but still for me, Super Scroll, Apocalypse, Black Knight, best three characters of the game. Bye for now.